Welcome to Third Eye Visions, where we motivate the blind, stimulate your mind, and welcome all kinds. Today, Friday's Blind Mom takes on a different twist in that any female, potential moms that is, who is interested in dun 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 breastfeeding, I have a gem for you today. Waiting in the wings, I have Alyssa Jean Hicks. And uh, I will put her links in the description so that you can find out more about her. And y'all definitely support her YouTube channel and what have you. But she's going to be talking about breastfeeding, how I breastfeed my baby as a blind mom, breastfeeding tips and tricks. Now, I want y'all to stay tuned because you will definitely learn something. It was very informative and educational. And I want to thank Alyssa Jean Hicks for this particular video because even I learned something so with that being said y'all make sure y'all subscribe hit that notification bell please do subscribe like share and comment on the videos man that's very important so with that being said check out this video brought to you by Alyssa Jean Hicks let's get it that's right we're on live we're gonna get this thing done one way or another what's up to y'all about how I breastfeed my baby, or my now toddler, can't believe it, as a blind mama. I breastfeed her with my eyes closed, and yes, we are still nursing. She is about 22 months now, and we're still nursing, and I love it. Um, we are praying about weaning her soon, just because you know she's almost two now and everything, and I think she's almost ready, but for now, I'm enjoying every moment of nursing her, and I've nursed her since the day she was born, and when I was pregnant with her, I often wondered, you know, how I would nurse her as a blind mama and if that would be any different than nursing her with sight. And it does have its differences, but honestly, if you are a mama who's blind or if you can see, this video will be helpful to you because these are tips that were helpful for me, I think regardless if I could see or not. But they definitely will help you if you are blind and you're about to have a baby and you're wondering how you're gonna breastfeed. So the answer to your question is yes, you can breastfeed. Just because you're blind does not mean that you can't. Don't let anyone tell you that. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about how I learned to do that. So, when my baby was first born, I will tell you guys, um, when I was in the hospital, it was hard. Like, I had a lactation consultant that was assigned to me at the hospital, and she would come in and work with me. Um, and, you know, she was a little unsure how to help me in the beginning, um, as, you know, would be expected. But, um, you know, I feel like, there's just such a interesting thing when, you know, in regards to breastfeeding in general, I think that people often just have sort of a misconception about it and thinking that it has to be perfect the first time and that you never should struggle. And let me tell you that is not true because I feel like any mama, whether you're blind or sighted, you're gonna struggle in the beginning. Your baby is learning, you are learning, especially if you're a first time mom, but even if you're not, like if it's your second baby or your third baby, you know, they're learning. It's new for the baby no matter what. And so it's gonna be a learning curve for both of you the first few days. I will tell you that my daughter was four days old before I was able to breastfeed her without assistance. And so, you know, it just takes time. So my lactation consultant came and helped me and the first, you know, couple days when I was in the hospital, first 48 hours, I literally had to call her in every time I was gonna nurse. I never was able to do it by myself. I tried it, but it was hard. And you know, the lactation consultant at the hospital, bless her heart, she was so helpful. Um, but she didn't really know how to help me. And I think that we tried different positions and a lot of them didn't work. Um, we tried the football hold, which is the most popular thing that people say. I um, mean, at first that didn't help me. Um, I, didn't, I didn't think it worked for me. And then we tried the other, the cross cradle, which a lot of people like as well. And that didn't work either. It worked for maybe a little bit. I think I was confident for a couple of, you know, sessions with that, but then it just didn't work anymore. I just felt like I wasn't able to get the deep latch that I wanted. So anyways, long story short, the hospital was hard. She barely nursed at all. Um, she lost quite a bit of weight. It wasn't like anything concerning because they still let us go, but 
she lost a little bit of weight. She was a tiny bit jaundice. Um, but like I said, we were able to go home, so it was okay. But it was just, it was very scary for me as her mama and just feeling like I wasn't able to get her to latch. Um, and literally that lactation consultant and the nurses had to latch her every single time for me, which was fine and I appreciate the help. But when they were ready to release me, usually they wait until you're confident breastfeeding in order to release you. And if I'm being completely honest, I think I was able to latch her once by, by myself when they were watching me, but when they released us from the hospital, I was not confident. I think that they thought I was, and I might have given the impression that I was, but I was not. And so I was very, very nervous inside about going home. Um, I knew that the Lord was with me and my husband was with me and he knew how to help me too, so it was okay. But I was very, very, very scared. Um, and so when I got home, we struggled quite a bit. That first night, she uh, barely nursed. She wouldn't go to sleep in the bassinet, so I had to hold her on my chest the entire night, and I did not sleep, I'll tell you that right now. And that's normal, and it was okay. And actually, my milk came in that night. <laughs> um, but the next morning, I had a lactation consultant that I actually had known. She's a puppy raiser. I have a guide dog, and she raises guide dogs for the school I went to, so she knew that I had just had a baby, and she was a lactation consultant, and she was so sweet, and she told me that she would come to my house and work with me. And so she did that next morning. Praise the Lord. It was such a blessing. So she came over and she was able to help me figure out a way to breastfeed my baby all by myself. And I'm so excited to share it with you guys. So basically, that was a really long intro, but what I did was we decided the football hold was actually really, really good for me. It was just that it wasn't working in the hospital because I didn't have the right pillow. I was using a boppy but it didn't really work. And what I found worked the best for me was the breast friend pillow. If I had it here, I'd show you, but it's packed away in storage right now. It is amazing. It's like a boppy pillow. It goes around your waist. Um, it buckles around your waist, but it has like two imprints of breasts on it, which I think is kind of funny, like two molds of it or whatever. Um, and so you just lay your baby across that. And what I found is the football hold, laying my baby across that breast friend um, and then I would hold the baby in the football hold. So let's say the baby was laying across my left side um, and her feet were kind of touching, like facing my bottom, if that makes sense. And so she was laying that way and then her face was obviously facing my breast and she was on her side and I would have her, my left hand kind of around her, around her and my hand was supporting, my arm was around her, my hand was supporting like her shoulder blades and her head was resting on the boppy pillow or the breast front. And then my right hand came in and took my breast in my hand. And then this is how I found work for me. I would pinch my nipple and then I would touch my nipple to the baby's nose. Now this isn't always easy and it's hard to get it perfect the first few times, but I would touch it to her nose and then I would slowly scoot it down to her mouth. And as soon as I felt her, cause when you, when you put your nipple to the baby's nose, it kind of, it kind of helps them to open their mouth. It kind of creates that reflex. So as soon as I felt that, I would scoot the nipple right into her mouth. And sometimes she wouldn't open and I would just keep doing it over and over. I'd go back up to nose, nose to nipple, and then back down. And then I would kind of, as soon as she opened that mouth, I would just slide that nipple in and I would slide it as deep as I could and get as deep of a latch as I could. Cause if you just get the tip of it, of it in there, that's when you start to get the nipple sores because your latch isn't deep enough. And so I would really, really push that nipple in there as much as I could. And then I would hold the breast up, support it in her mouth like that. Now I did get nipple sores the first couple days. Oh yes, I did. And I used nipple creams and all of that. Um, but after I got this really, really well, this football hold with this deep latch, my sores went away and they never came back. And I will tell you guys right now though, a little tip for your sores. I used nipple cream, but it didn't really work. To me, it was just like putting chapstick on chapped lips, but it didn't really take away the sore. What worked the best for me, there's my grandfather clock. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> you gotta love the chime in the middle of the video, because I sure do. Anyways, what worked best for me for the nipple sores was just expressing some breast milk and kind of tapping my nipple with the breast milk and kind of rubbing it on the sore and the breast milk was more healing than any nipple cream so that's a little tip for you mamas if you ever get like the really bad sores just really get that that breast milk on there and it will take your sore away like within hours it's amazing anyways back to what i was saying so you get that nose to nipple you get that nipple down in the baby's mouth really really deep and you just hold that nipple up or that boob up you support your breast there I have, you know, I have a lot to support. So <laughs> again, this is TMI. So I hope if you don't like TMI, you've clicked off by now. Anyways, 
So you hold that breast up there and then the baby nurses like that. And it took me a long time to figure out positioning and you know, it took me a long time to kind of figure out what worked, but it did work super, super well. And I'm so blessed to say that we were able to figure it out. Now, that's not the only position that I tried. And there's a couple more positions that work as well, really, really well, especially if you're blind. So the other one my lactation consultant showed me was the sideline position. Now I will say the sideline position didn't work for me. Um, I do think it works for a lot of mamas. So if you are looking for a position that might work, do try this. It doesn't work for everyone, but that's okay. Everybody's different. So what you do is you lay on your side, on your bed or wherever, and you have your husband or your partner lay next to you and they latch the baby on. So you lay on your side as if you're going to sleep and then your baby is laying next to you, whatever side you prefer, and then your husband will, my husband tried this, but it just didn't work. My baby didn't really like it, but um, you, you know, you would have your husband latch the baby on and that, you know, it worked the first time when my lactation consultant was there to watch, but as soon as she left, it, I remember we tried it for a long time and it just didn't work and I got frustrated and so that's okay. We just moved on to the next one. And the other position that really worked, and I still do this position that I'm going to share with you right now. This is the one I do to this day. Okay. It was amazing. It's called the flat line position. Okay. So what I did was I had a reclining chair at the time when she was a newborn. Now I just use a rocking chair, but I would recline the chair all the way back and I would sit back, lay back in the chair, flat on my back, and I would lie the baby on my chest, flat face down, okay? And then that way, it, it was really nice because you had gravity to work with you, and then I would take my nipple and just, you know, lift up her little head and work it right under her mouth, and I'd lay her head, you know, on my chest, and the nipple will be right in her mouth, and that way, you don't even have to hold your nipple up. You just hold the baby's head on your nipple, and it really helps them get a deep latch because you're working with gravity, and you don't have to hold yourself up. It's honestly, that was my favorite latch, but you can't always do that. Like in public, when I had to use the nursing cover, I couldn't do the flat line. So that's why the football hold was really nice too. I know that was a lot of information right there, you guys, and I hope it was helpful. Also, be sure if you are able, it's super, super helpful to have a lactation consultant come to your house, okay? That saved me. So if you can do that, do it. And then once you can get that one-on-one -on -one time with a lactation consultant, I actually started going to group classes every week and that was really helpful too. So don't be afraid to use lactation consultants. They can be pricey, but I'm telling you they're worth every penny because that really, really helped me. So again, I know that was a lot of information. I really, really hope this was helpful to you, whether you're a blind mama or a sighted mama. I hope it gave you some courage that you can breastfeed no matter what your situation. I know that you can, I believe in you. That's right, we're on live. We're gonna get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all?